Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I'm going to be doing another walkthrough and first impressions. Um, this is a deck that was sent to me by US Games for my honest written review. However, I do like to do uh, walkthroughs and first impression videos on them. So this is the Universal Folk Tarot by Anita Inverarity. And this is what the box looks like. Look at how beautiful that is. Universal Folk Tarot deck and book set. Same. I love it when it's on the side, both sides. So no matter which way you have them on your shelves. As I stated before, most of the U.S. games boxes that I've seen are coming out like this. I like it. I think it works. This is a heavy this is a heavy set. Oh, here's what the, the back looks like. Universal Folk Tarot. Scottish artist Anita Inverarity created Universal Folk Tarot based on the Waitsmith framework interwoven with narratives from world folklore and mythology. The deck and its universal stories are rooted in healing energy and deep compassionate understanding, yet also offers the opportunity to work with the shadow self. For each card, the characters are gifted with animal and crystal companions that bring their own particular medicine and vibration to support readers on their journey. This 244-page illustrated guidebook explores the lush symbolism and meaning of the 78 painted edge cards. Wow, that's beautiful. And this is a chunker of a book. A chunker. Let me just show you that really quick. Look at how thick that is. That's so nice. Another thing that I'm really noticing out of a lot of the U.S. Games um, docs is the quality of the books. The books are on really nice, um, like premium thick paper. So, um, like photo paper, right? I mean, it's just beautiful. It's definitely not your average book. These are not your average books. So, Universal Folk Tarot. So, we've got an introduction. We've got the Major Arcana, the Suit of Cups, Pentacles, Swords, Wands, using the cards, about the um, artist and author, and acknowledgments. Introduction to the Universal Folk Tarot. Okay. Using the cards, I wonder, let me see what page that's on again. I wonder if there's any spreads there. Two, is that 239? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Single card medicine or meditation. My goodness. Three card spread. The Celtic cross spread. Okay. There we go. So we'll, we'll dig into this when I pull out a few cards for readings because I don't have access right now um, to all of my decks downstairs in order to do any pairings for you. So I'm just going to pick a few cards and or depending on how long the book is and read for you after I do. Okay, these already came black. I have not been doing any edging, so that's beautiful. Now these are slippery and these are linen. If that's off center a little bit, I apologize. It's just not so easy to see when you got a light coming right at you. All right, the fool. Uh, this will be available this month, I believe. Um, it's on, as of the, the last time I looked, it's on pre order status. The magician. I will put a link down below 
to where you can purchase this deck. The High Priestess. There's so much to see in these cards. Man, I really love the coloring too. And I know a, I think, a perfect deck to go with this. Even though I don't have access to it right now. And that is the um, Slavic Oracle by, uh, oh my gosh, I am so bad. Her name is not coming to me at the moment. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. Wow. The Chariot. Oh, little kitty cats. Strength. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Man, I love the coloring in this. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. I love the coloring down here. Everything. This is really beautifully put together. I like the black in the background. That's gorgeous. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. The Star. The moon. Come on, baby, lay down, honey. The sun. Judgment. The world. Ace of Cups. Compassion. Oh, look at that. There's a keyword. Two of Cups. Eternity. Three of Cups, Coven. Four of Cups, Unfurl. Make sure you can still, okay, yes. Five of Cups, Sorrow. Six of Cups, Joy. Seven of Cups, the Conjurer. Hmm. Eight of Cups. The Trailblazer. Hmm. I'm liking the choice of words that are being used for this. Because I can see these words. It's not necessarily always what I think of for these. Which is good because it's expanding my pers you know, perspective a little bit. My perception. Nine of Cups. The Wishmaker, of course. Ten of Cups, the Light Bearers. Page of Cups, the Tea Leaf Reader. Oh, that's cool. Knight of Cups. What is that? The Kelpie Keeper. Interesting. Queen of Cups, the Coral Queen. Beautiful. King of Cups, King of the Sea, I like that. Now we've got Ace of Pentacles with the Investor. Hmm. Two of Pentacles, Comfort and Joy. Three of Pentacles, Harmony. Four of Pentacles, Blackbird Gardens. 
Five of Pentacles, Aurora, Six of Pentacles, Six for Gold. Seven of Pentacles, Flora's Garden. Eight of Pentacles, Jackalope Garden. Huh. Nine of Pentacles. What was that? Scathock? Scathock. Or Satch? I don't know. I'm sure I'm, that's probably Celtic or something, and I'm totally butchering it. Ten of Pentacles, the family. Page of Pentacles, Hugin and Munin. Hmm. Which are um, the crows of Odin, I believe. Knight of Pentacles, Contemplation. Oh. Man, I love this artwork. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Charms. Isn't she fabulous? I want a hat like that. <laughs> it would look god awful on me, but I still want one. <laughs> That's funny. King of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Charms. <laughs> Ace of Swords. The Navigator. Hmm. Two of Swords. Trust. Yes. Three of Swords. Deidre of the Sorrows. Huh. It is a beautiful image. Four of Swords. Pause. Five of Swords. The Vanquished. Interesting. Six of Swords. Departure. Seven of Swords. The Opportunist. Huh. Yeah. Eight of Swords. What is that? The Martyr? Yeah, the Martyr. Nine of Swords. The Night Terror. Ten of Swords, the Defeated. Page of Swords, the Apprentice. Knight of Swords, the Challenge. Queen of Swords, the Diamond Queen. And the King of Swords, the King of Reason. Hmm. Then we have the Wand. The Visionary, Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, The Dreamer. Three of Wands, Fortune and Favor. Four of Wands. What is that? Hamey and Hearth. Hamey and Hearth. Five of Wands, Stain and Sinaccio, or Sinacci. Six of Wands, was that S Silt and Silver? Seven of Wands, The Frontier. Eight of Wands, Ariel. Nine of Wands, The Ascendant. Interesting. Ten of Wands, The Journey. Page of Wands, The Messenger. Knight of Wands, Elin of the Ways, Ellen of the Ways. Queen of Wands, Queen of Confidence. And King of Wands, King of Knowledge. 
All right, let's see how, let me see if I can pull this back a little bit. Let's see how this shuffles. Oh, there's the backs. Those are pretty. This is a little bit bigger of a deck. So I don't know, even with it being linen, I don't think I'm going to be able to riffle this. Oh, I might be able to. It feels a little bit longer and a little bit wider um, than a regular basic tarot. Yeah, I can't get a good grip on it, but my hands are kind of dry at the moment. So, something that I've really been enjoying lately is doing the side shuffle seems to shuffle it up really good and the bridging sometimes I have um, bent my cards I'm less likely to bend my cards or anything doing the side shuffle and with it being linen it side shuffles beautifully all right, so we're going to fan this, seeing how it is a beautiful, beautiful linen. And let's pick, let me move that out of the way. Let's pick a few cards to read. Nine of Cups, the Wishmaker. Let me make sure I'm in. Okay, so for the Nine of Cups, this is what it looks like. So let me read to you. I did have to grab my glasses. Nine of Cups, the Wishmaker. Keywords, contentment, satisfaction, enjoyment. Crystal is Amazonite. Calm, well-being, positivity, and the law of attraction. The woman is sitting at her stall, happy, warm, and content with life. She sips a soothing blend of herbal tea from a handmade ceramic cup. Behind her are eight more cups, from her potter's wheel to be sold or traded. Each cup is unique and she has poured love and care into their creation, finding fun in adding little emblems of luck and joy. A cat companion is curled up on her lap, trusting her calm, calming energy. The woman has a sunny disposition and is happy to chat and exchange greetings at leisure with the folks that stroll by. Occasionally, they purchase a cup and stay a while to sip tea. There is a great deal of enjoyment and, enjoyment and satisfaction in this scene. Scarcity has no place here, and the woman knows that she is a powerful manifester who will be provided for with little effort. Indeed, she takes great pleasure in her work and sees it as an extension of her soul's purpose. The Nine of Cups represents a time of positivity and enjoying one's achievements. Every day, or everything feels perfectly aligned. The beautiful toadstools in the foreground make you wonder about the magic and blessings of the universe. It is easy to do so from this perspective, and you will want to indulge in pleasures. Small indulgences and beauty. So the symbolic healing and guidance... Um, element is water, qualities is emotions, well-being, health, nurturing, life-giving. Uh, nines are inner strength, big life lessons, and enlightenment. Cat is contentment, harmony, satisfaction. Ladybird is luck, blessings, and attraction. Sunflower is enjoyment and abundance. Toadstools is magic. Now it says... Upright message, the Nine of Cups invites you to pause a while and enjoy all the wonders that you have created. It is a card of gratitude and intense enjoyment, so make sure that you savor, and savor it all and indulge in the moment. This card is often referred to as the Wishmaker and is an indicator of good fortune. There is something powerful in the saying that wealth attracts more wealth. You feel on a bit, you feel on a bit of a roll, but relaxed and supported at the same time. So if in reverse, even while everything seems perfect on the outside, there may be lingering discomfort, disbelief, or self-doubt inside. 
even in the best of times, is there a niggling worry that things are too good to be true? Go within and find the roots of this unease. Find the things that need to heal deep in the shadow self and confront the fear that rises up when times are especially good. Use this opportunity well. Very nice. So let's draw another one, maybe from over here. Oh, Eight of Swords, the Martyr. Okay, and that is... Oops. This is what that looks like in the book. Eight of Swords, the Martyr. Keywords are restriction, bondage, self-sacrifice, victim mentality, and martyrdom. Crystal is shungite, purification, release, and absorption. A woman is bound and blindfolded in the center of eight swords. On first appearance, she seems captive and sacrificial. On closer inspection, it becomes evident that her bindings are quite minimal, and if she removed her blindfold, she would see the scissors hanging around her neck. Freedom is really just a snip away, and these restrictions are of her own making. A group of sparrows looks on in bemusement at her predicament. They are wondering whether to start a chorus to jolt her awareness. Even the one flying past seems to make no impact. Sparrows represent empowerment, allies, community, and safety, all of the things that she perceives to be inaccessible. The symbols of each planet embellish the hilts of each blade. They reveal that help is at hand from the universe and it is always available to us. On the blindfold is a representation of the all-seeing eye, which indicates a deeper in intuition within. If she matches or if she watches the self-sabotaging thoughts go by, she might reach that place of understanding and internal release. Symbolic healing and guidance. So the element is air, qualities is truth, intellect, and justice. Eights are strength, prosperity, infinite success. Planets are universal support. The sparrows are empowerment, community, and protection. The blue moon is uh, growth, self-discovery, depth of wisdom. In the upright message, there is a feeling of being trapped and immobilized. Right now, you can't see a way forward and don't recognize the options that may be open to you. You are limit. There are limiting thoughts at play, low vibration, ruminations, and unnecessary worry. The Eight of Swords asks you to go deep within yourself to separate your current mindset from actual reality. Learn to recognize the self-sabotage and victim mentality that only keeps you stuck. Surrender and trust that you are supported. Then take off the blinder and take one step at a time. Breakthroughs are close and there are major lessons to learn with this Eight. So the reversed message is... It could be that limiting patterns and self-sabotaging behaviors have become deeply ingrained and are causing you anxiety. You trust yourself so little that you are frozen and afraid to move forward. Unfortunately, you trust others even less and may be blaming them for your pain or your predicament. Something has to change and the reverse position can indicate a breakthrough if you are prepared to work on releasing the deeper issues at play. Man, these are so good. There's so much information. Okay, and let's just draw one more from over on this side. Ooh, the Empress. All right, so let's see what it says about the Empress. All right, and this is what it looks like in the book. The Empress. Keywords, beauty, fertility, abundance, maturity, unconditional love, Femininity, nurturing, the crystal is garnet, love, devotion, beauty, and balance. So the empress sits in her beautiful garden, supported by comfortable cushions and sheltered by rich drapes and tapestries. She is relaxed and aligned with nature, Through her nobil though her nobility is evident in the abundance of jewels and fine clothes she is wearing. Garnets are her chosen stone, earthy, passionate, and balancing. They are also linked to the pomegranates springing from the rich soil, a symbol of new life and abundance. The Empress wears a crown of freshly picked flowers and little green shoots of new growth are prominent in the scene. 
In her headband, she sports 12 garnets, which represent the 12 signs of the zodiac, her celestial subjects, and her realm. She has great compassion and understanding for all her people. Ruling over her planet is, or ruling over her realm is the planet Venus and unconditional love. Venus can be seen in the night sky and is also depicted in some symbolic form on her pillow in the foreground. Okay, I see it. Um, the Empress is blooming into full maturity and enjoying the fruits of her success. Two families join her under the stars. The owl represents her wisdom and inner knowing. The rabbit represents fertility and feminine energy. This card is all about fertility, creativity, abundant ideas, rich rewards, and unlimited potential coming into being. Sometimes the Empress may be portrayed as pregnant, but she is mostly about nurturing and she is the earthy embodiment of the great Mother Earth deity we recognize in mythology. So the symbolic healing and guidance, we have pomegranates, new life, abundance and fertility, garnets, we have love, passion, earthy pleasures, Owl, we have wisdom, knowledge, growing maturity. Rabbit is fertility, high energy, and creativity. And Venus is love and beauty. Now, the upright message is the true road to success is through the beauty of enjoying what this life or what this earth has to offer. Indulge in pleasures and self care. Nature rises and falls regardless of pursuit. So sit back and enjoy its bounty and the more sensual aspects of life. Everything that you require is manifest now, and it is overflowing, overflowing abundance. Oh, and it, it is in overflowing abundance. Bless others with your compassion and care as you enter into a period of growth and gratitude for all that you have. So the reversed message is, slowly, stop. There may be feelings of dissatisfaction or a lack of enjoyment in the things that you have around you, or your life situation, those nagging feelings of never enough are a call to look at your feelings of scarcity and whether it dominates or causes blocks in your growth. Embrace self-care as the first step. Actively enjoy nature, new people and places. Practice feeling blessed and giving gratitude for the small things in life. Try to fill your own spiritual cup first and often. Man, oh man, oh man. What an awesome, what an awesome deck. I love the cardstock. I love the images. The artwork is beautiful. The book is really, it's high quality. The whole deck is really high quality. The production value of what I am seeing that has been coming out of U.S. Games is phenomenal. I'm serious. It's been so good. Um... And the write-ups, everything that it offers in this chunky little guidebook is just fabulous because, listen, the majority of tarot that I do is for myself. And for the next, God only knows how long I'm going to be stuck in this situation because of my broken ankle, um, I've got a lot of time on my hands to be doing some reflection and, you know, tarot and reading. And I mean, isn't that what I asked for last month? Knock on wood, because you never know what you're going to get, right? I didn't want it in this way, but nonetheless, it's here. So I'm going to take advantage, and I think that's what these cards are talking about. Take advantage and look around you and look at what you're grateful for. Not necessarily the situation that you're in, but look at the people that are around you that are your support system. You know, look at the resources that you have because you have built them up. Take a look at the achievements that you've made in your life you know, and sit back and reflect on those things. And so, yeah, I'm just really pleased with this particular deck. And I thank you for spending this time with me. This, I don't know if, I think I mentioned it in the beginning, but this is on, well, today's March 1st. It's on pre-order for March. So I'm not sure exactly what day it's going to be opened up um, for sale, but it is, the last I checked, it was on pre-order. So I will leave a link down below to where you can, um, you know, purchase this particular deck. So thank you for spending this time with me and I am sending you love always.